Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Legend of Fuzzy, and I have some Crisis 3 gameplay for you guys today. And I'm using the um, the K Vault and the Rhino, and that's really all you really need to know about the gameplay. And I go 32 to no, no, 36 to 2. Um, it's quite an old gameplay, so I probably don't know what's going to happen most of the time. Um, but that's not really the, the biggest thing I'm um, about the video, I guess. Um, so today, guys, I wanted to talk about why Crisis 3 failed. But then I'm gonna highlight on the stuff that makes the grain that makes the game so so great. Um, and yeah, so let's let's get into it. So why I think Crisis 3 failed is because it came out in a pretty bad time. So as you guys probably know, it came out in February, um, February this year. Um, so by this time, we already have two of the biggest game franchises out, which is um, Halo and Call of Duty. They've been out for about three months and they've also they've already got some map packs out lots of people playing the games and then this game that came along with hardly any publicity never really got out there you didn't see you didn't see or hear many 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 people talking about it and when when they released when, when well, well when they released the beta here some people played it i i would say about two thousand people played it um from what i could tell maybe i'm wrong maybe a couple uh, more thousand people played it, um, but it was, it, was, it was a game that was very foreign to people. Crisis Two was never really popular. Um, well, granted, it had some publicity to start off with for about um, the first two months it came out, uh, which is about February two thousand eleven, and it was popular for a bit, mainly for its campaign. But its multiplayer, a little bit, I guess. But not many people played it because. Originally, Crisis 1 was for PC and Crisis Warhead and such. So, so PC gamers had, um, they, they they knew what Crisis was, they they, they knew everything about it, but basically, basically. Console players knew virtually nothing about Crisis, because, it was, because Crisis was never on console. And when people got into Crisis 2, they didn't really know how the game worked, they didn't really know the playstyle, they didn't know how to use the nano suit, they didn't know how to use weapons, or the, <laughs> you know, the invisibility or the armor, they thought, they thought it was overpowered using cloak, because in Call of Duty and Battlefield, the, 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 the top two FPSs, um, they don't have that sort of stuff. And the game was very, very foreign to, 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 to people who, who played um, first person shooters. And that's what, that's the main reason why the game failed, um, then just generally publicity and everything just wasn't really big for, on Crytek, and they never, they didn't really have very much advertising, um, yeah, they did have some YouTube, like, little teasers and little trailers and stuff, but they weren't that popular, and just Crisis 3 in general, like, the, the community, like, the Crisis 2 veterans, they, they didn't want to play the game because they had auto armor, and Auto Armor pretty much did kind of wreck the game, or well, at least wreck the multiplayer. The campaign was a bit short, um, at least in my opinion anyway. Uh, the game was pretty glitchy and buggy, which no one no one likes. And that's why you have a beta. Um, yes, the beta, by having the beta, it did fix a few things, but the, the, the Cry Engine is just not made for console. Well, maybe not next-gen consoles, but, but for current-gen consoles, it's just not made for it. And that is why... Crisis just didn't, didn't work, and by I mean why well, it didn't work, it didn't mean for console players like PS3 and Xbox, um, and also on PC. The PC community isn't very big as well on Crisis 3, it's about, um, I, I would say it has more players, I'm not quite sure, but I know that it has, it has a bigger community than, um, than the console players put together, um, which is quite fascinating, but obviously PC, PC gamers have have more knowledge and how to how to play the game i guess um it's not as foreign to to other um well to console players at least um though there are the few of us who still play the game i went on recently today only about 70 people were playing and i would say that's many down to gta 5 uh, and it's recently released its online mode which um i never played i had never really gotten into, into gta 5 and it's just not really a game for me um, but yeah, it's just, Crisis 3, I, I thought it would work out for a bit, um, but when I first got on, um, after the beta, when the full game came out, only about 500 people were playing, 
and I was like, yeah, this game's not gonna last very long, and I didn't have, I didn't have high expectations for it. But there are the, the fair few of us who still play this game, like Seth Walker, Unknown Soldier, um, my friends Snipes and um, Dragon Piper. They, st I, I saw them online today. That they, they still play the game because. They like the game as well as their hind leaderboards. They want to keep their position, but the game is is still fun for us. We we got used to the game. The thing is, guys, c console players or just gamers and now nowadays, they're so used to doing the same stuff over and over again. And I'm not just referring this to Call of Duty. I'm referring this to Battlefield as well because yes, they have some innovation, some innovative, in innovated like features like in Battlefield 4. We all know what the features are. Yet the gameplay is still the same, and Crisis 3 had just such an impact on on FPS players. They, they did not know how to play, did not um, fit their playstyle, and that's why the game failed. But let's talk about the good things, guys. The good things that made this game really, really great were the playstyle for us, at least. Everyone loves everyone loves using their nano suit. It's it's really fair. Everyone has an advantage. Everyone has a disadvantage. It's all it's all very very fair. Though the modules did make it a little bit unfair. Um, technically, it's not unfair. It's just um, how the game is played. I guess you got to have some you got to have some some disadvantages and some advantages. That's how multiplayer works. If everything's the same, it's going to be boring as fuck. So, but anyway, yeah. So at least the nano suit's fun to use. Um, rushing, everyone, um, most, most FPS players like to rush nowadays, camping isn't very big in Crisis 3, though my mates do <laughs> find a lot of campers, but, um, rushing is obviously very big for Crisis, and I guess the new features of, um, of Crisis 3, like the, um, the Crisis 1 kind of nano shoot setup, how it has the separate tabs or energy tabs for, um, strength and armor, or, I mean, sorry, um, stealth and armor. Um, I guess that, 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 that's pretty cool, it's very different to Crisis 2, how it just had the, uh, one energy meter, uh, which wasn't too bad, I didn't mind that, but, I mean, th this one's pretty good, um, we all like this, um, the weapons, the, the variety of weapons in this game is, 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 is outstanding, they have, um, a quite, uh, they, they only have three sniper rifles in the game, but they're, they're still pretty damn fun to use, um, you got a, you got a, a wide variety of um, like big weapons like the mic, which is a microwave gun, which is very very cool. Uh, and then you got the cable, which is basically little pellets of electricity, which is damn cool as well. And you got the uh, rhino, obviously, where you can just pelt dudes. <laughs> um, and yeah, see, you guys can listen in the comments what what you or what why you think the game is great and what you well, yeah what, what what makes it so great to you comment in the, in, in the description below because i know you guys want to see some crisis 3 uh, i will definitely be uploading some crisis 3 and here is some crisis 3 so i hope you did enjoy it at least um but yeah i hope you had an awesome day guys i've got exams so i'm not going to have a very awesome week but I'll, I'll still continue to upload because that's what i like to do and hope you guys enjoyed have an a1 day